I know what you're thinking. My anxiety is always going to win. I can't do it. I can't win. I can't get over my fear. But guess what, honey? You can. I want whoever's listening to this to really open their mind before this video starts and just see yourself. Look in the mirror. See yourself as this beautiful, amazing, and capable woman. Because today, we're going to be shedding some light and wisdom on self-compassion and how to draw energy from within towards your higher purpose. So, get out a cup of coffee, get us out a snack, and without further ado, let's get chatting, ladies. What's up, YouTube? So, I'm back, and I want to shed a little love and light on the topic of self-compassion. We are all on these individual and unique journeys of finding ourselves, and I see so many YouTubers talking about these series they call Girl Talk, and I really want to pick up on that and have one of our own, because I feel like right now, as a 21-year-old in our society, we are being so pressured on not only to look beautiful, to be smart, to be motivated, to be driven, but we are just constantly being told of who we should be. But I want you listening to realize that right now, who you are is so beautiful and so capable of growing and being even a better version of yourself than you are now. So if you're interested to what I have to say, or you want to hear a little story of what brought me into health, then Keep listening. So today, I want to get real with you, and I've seen a lot of YouTubers have this series they call Girl Talk, so I want to have one of those myself with you all today, and just really talk about some common problems we see at our age as women. So I know being a 21 year old is a little of a little bit of a difficult time because we're struggling with really finding ourselves and today we're going to be talking about how to figure out your purpose and how to really manifest what you want in your life. So on that note, let's talk a little bit about finding purpose. So my whole health journey started with wanting to get clearer skin. We all start somewhere, whether it's really low, kind of in the middle, or in need of a change. And for me, my struggle with acne influenced me to really want to clear my skin. So I started finding how to clear my skin up naturally and holistically through eating better, more whole foods, and more like healthy fats and stuff, training your body to adapt to stress through physical movement, mindful movement, movement, and even yoga. That's how I found yoga. But aside from that, I think mental health is such a problem. We all, many of us struggle with mental health in a different form. It can be anxiety, self-depression, self-doubt, low self-esteem, but I think we have the full control as females with this divine energy to really figure out what our triggers are that makes us depressed, makes us unhappy, makes us feel a lack of control over our own lives. And we can have the true ability to turn that negative uh, you know, feeling and turn it to a way to fuel ourselves for growth. So, with that said, going back to my story on how my whole health journey started and my basic love for health and making myself feel good and empowered from within because that, ladies, is where our energy and just divine energy and power comes from, is from within. We have to cultivate our own self-love and self-compassion because if we keep looking beside ourselves and in this external world for something to satisfy us. 
we will always, always be disappointed. So, as I struggled with acne, back when I was in high school, it was about my freshman year of high school, I really wanted to figure out if there was a way I can just clear my skin. And I'm sure whoever has struggled with acne can relate with the fact that you just want it gone. You will do anything you can to just get rid of it because you feel like you don't know how to be beautiful and you don't know what to do because you have such this, this negative blanket over you because you feel like, oh, I cannot control this outbreak of acne and it just keeps coming back. Nothing I do is fixing it. But I think and I really do believe that by getting on these paths of healthy habits and healthy change and growth, you end up figuring out ways to almost distract yourself from, you know, the thing that's bothering you and give you a drive towards making yourself better. So when I was struggling with acne, I was trying to really, you know, just make my body better, make my mind better. And in that time, there's a lot of self-discovery that occurs. You start going down these rabbit holes of the health industry, different diets like veganism, paleo diets, the keto diet, which is actually really in right now. And for multiple reasons, not just because a lot of people think it's healthy, but it's really helping people with their metabolism. It helps them think clearer. And it even has shown to help cure patients with epilepsy. So there's a, there's a lot of good things with the keto diet, but that's for a different video. I'll probably be posting things about that later on. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned to my, you know, coming posts. So, but yeah, you get, go down these rabbit holes of really wanting to find information and knowledge. And I think, being a woman in this generation, uh, you know, for Generation X, Millennials, Generation Z, all of us share this one common theme and we all just want to belong. We want to belong and we want to make an impact. We want to make a difference with our minds, what we, what we think, because we are all unique individuals and we have this this ability, this energy to plant the seed of wisdom and really try to influence people because we know what we are capable of. And I think the more a woman is able to know what she is capable of and what, how much of an impact she can have, the more social align with her divine female energy that will enable her to really grow that self-compassion, that energy to drive her to a purpose, a higher purpose above herself in, in which she can grow towards and align all of her desires and wishes towards. So shift a few years into coming to college. It is now my fourth year in college. For those who are at my university and is watching, hello. So in college, there's definitely a shift that happens. You feel like you're finally on your own. You're being held responsible more for yourself and your goals. And I think to develop a level of self-compassion where you no longer need to depend on other people for your own happiness and well-being, you have to cultivate that sense of self-development and self-growth. You can look towards developing yourself as the strong female that you are through books, blogs, fo following people on social media who really inspire you. Even cleanse your social media and anything that really you just feel is contributing a layer of toxic energy because I think it starts with taking those first initial steps of really cleansing, filtering out what you don't want kind of presented in front of you every day and you want to present yourself with a lot of positive information, positive knowledge, you know, things you can really learn and grow from and take all these things from the people who are succeeding and implement them into your life so you can just fuel the growth that is within you to come alive. And once you do those things, 
and teach yourself to grow, to continuously learn to really embrace the person and female that you are because you are a beautiful woman. You are fully capable of growing and becoming strong both mentally, physically, and spiritually. You can definitely become who you want to be. It just takes developing the good habits and accepting your place in your journey right now because just keep remembering you have it within you to get to where you want to go you just have to form those habits make little changes and remember make little changes first because those little changes will lead you towards making those like bigger changes later on down the road so the little changes I think in how you view yourself and how you really think about your purpose here on this earth will help you navigate towards the path that you so desire to fit or desire to make an impact on. Well, I guess moving forward, we can really find our place to cultivate that center of self-compassion when we just accept who we are and stop listening to what other people have to say about who they think we are. We have our own abilities to be unique. Have, we all share little skills and idiosyncrasies about ourselves that no one else in this universe has. So each of us with this divine energy and this unique force, we can become something so amazing. Just keep telling yourself the good things about who you are. Befriend those little voices in your head, like your anxiety, your depression, and look at them as if they are literally like a best friend who you know are your enemies. And just say to them like, hey anxiety, look, I know the badass woman that I am and I'm not going to let you ruin my day because a lot of us right now we may feel like we're not good enough and hearing these you know subconscious voices in our head about just negative self-talk and how we can't do things it just brings us down another rabbit hole of falling under the false idea of us being incapable unable to do things but we are able to do things, we are able to overcome our own anxieties, our own depression. That's something that we'll talk about later on too, it's all about emotional intelligence and you know, hacking your mind to consciously work in a way that you are the controller of your mind. Because one thing with anxiety that I learned when I had, I still kind of have it, a really deep fear of planes. that. You just get anxious and you just start thinking like all these bad things but you have to realize that through practice through actually forcing yourself to do things that scare you you overcome such difficult obstacles and you overcome these ways of patterns of thinking that aren't as limiting and it opens your mind to this ability to grow as both a woman and a person who is capable of succeeding at anything they want to be anything that they want to do or be so i thank you for watching today and if something i said resonated with you i know it was kind of long but please like this video subscribe for more content on self-love compassion and health and i look forward to talking to you on saturday or next wednesday so bye